this season on The Right Stuff. My name is Mark Wills. I'm a country music entertainer. I'm from the big city of Blue Ridge, Georgia, which is just outside Atlanta. And I'm very excited to be here as the brand new host of The Right Stuff. This year for The Right Stuff, we're in the beautiful New Mexico Gila National Forest. It is an absolutely beautiful surrounding. Now, if you're familiar with natural forest, a lot of people think of very green and very grassy and very tree ridden. And this is an absolutely beautiful area, but it's also kind of a high desert area. A lot of dry tender, so we gotta be careful with fires. Uh, and not a whole lot of trees to get shelter from, but it's still an absolutely beautiful area. In my opinion, to win this competition, it's gonna be about focusing on the task at hand, being able to pay attention, being able to, to watch other people and learn. Because at the end of the day, it's all about how you execute. You know, these guys are, are all avid outdoorsmen. They're all shooters. They're all former military. Uh, so they've been trained. They, they know topography. They know how to, to, to take their skill set and to put it into play. It's really going to be about how they each execute and how, how well they learn from each other's mistakes. Gentlemen, welcome to the second season of The Right Stuff. I'm this year's host, Mark Wills, and we are very happy to see all you guys. This is the Coleman Campground. Everything that you're gonna need has been provided for you. We have chef's five-minute meals. We have sleeping bags. We have tents. We have drinks. We have everything. So basically, you're self-contained to this area right here. Okay, everybody understand that? So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna grab your tents. You're gonna throw your gear in there, and we're gonna head right to our first challenge. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is here, just want you to think about this. You're all military guys, so you're going to have a great time. And I promise you more than anything, it's going to be a lot of shooting, a lot of fun. So grab your stuff, and let's get ready to go. Welcome, yeah. fellas. Good to see you all. Good to see you, sir. Yes, sir. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. This season for the right stuff, we're in the Gila National Forest. Uh, it's Glenwood, Alma, New Mexico area. Beautiful area to be in, perfect for this type of, of show. Oh, there's hiking trails, ATV riding, horseback riding, fishing, a lot of hunting. Immediately when you look around, you'll notice the beautiful scenery surrounded by two uh, national uh, forests, the Aldo Leopold Wilderness and the Gila Wilderness. The competition will begin when The Right Stuff returns. The Right Stuff is brought to you by Stag Arms, Smith & Wesson, and progressive force concepts. The Right Stuff is brought to you by Fioki, Tough One, and Savage Range Systems. Hi, I'm Paul Plupp from Smith & Wesson. I'm Director of Marketing. Uh, Smith & Wesson was founded in 1862 by two gentlemen, Horace Smith and D.B. Wesson. And uh, they were two guys that 
really want to challenge us and, and carry that challenge and take everything to the next level. Similar to what these guys are doing here and elevating and the challenges that they're having here. And that was the goal of the company, reaching up, setting the next goal, coming up with the next thing, and the part of the whole history of Smith & Wesson innovation. And that's why it's such a good fit for us to be here. It all ties together, because that's what we're doing with these guys. We're challenging them. And you're gonna see that as we go through on each one of these stages, uh, and, and, and a specific firearm that fits that stage that's gonna challenge them. And I can't wait to see the outcome of this. All right, fellas, y'all ready to get busy? Yeah, cool. sir. Get this thing started. Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do. This is Brian Hartman with Progressive Force Concepts. Hey guys. He is gonna kinda give you the stage brief. I'll tell you quickly what you're gonna do. Each one of you, you're gonna pick a box right here from behind. It's got a number on the bottom side of it. That's gonna be your shooting order. So what you'll do, everybody will pick their box. Brian will give you the stage brief, and then we will uh, start throwing some lead down range. Everybody good with that? Sounds yep. Good. Willis, since you're the shortest, you get to pick first. <laughs> And you're shooting last. All right, Chris, come on in. You're shooting first. Tate. Uh, there you go. Number one. Mark. Four. Shooting four. Val. Second. 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 And of course, Scott, looks like you're going to be shooting in the fifth place. Thing, sir. All right, guys, give Brian your attention. He's going to run through what, you're, what, the, you know, what this whole thing is set up to do, how we're going to do it, and uh, then we'll, we'll have some fun here. Okay, guys, first stage is going to be fired with the Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum revolver. Uh, we've got five steel targets that are arrayed out in front of us. You're going to engage these targets from left to right. Shooter's going to start out with the weapon at a full load. Hammer's going to be lowered and you're gonna start with the barrel of the weapon touching the table in front of you. You have to work the targets from left to right. You have to put one hit on each target. You cannot move from one target to the next target without hitting it. You only have six rounds in order to accomplish this. So if you don't accomplish five hits with six rounds, you're a DNF or it did not finish on the stage. A couple things to, uh, to allow you to kind of strategize on this. Shooter's allowed to take and run the revolver in a double action mode with the long heavy trigger pull. Shooter's allowed to thumb cock the weapon and run it in the lighter, more accurate single action mode. Uh, shooter's also allowed to come up and stage that cylinder where they rotate it into the notch and then press off from there. So you can kind of fight your little speed versus, uh, versus accuracy battle, but you've got six rounds to accomplish five hits. Fastest time takes the stage. Let's do it. Shooter number one. My name is Chris Naganuma I'm from Los Angeles, uh, California. My background is I was a machine gunner in the United States Army and now I'm a professional three gun shooter. As far as that experience goes, uh, it's, I think it's gonna be nice because I can kind of pick up almost any firearm that's on the table and know what's gonna go on with it. I'd say my strongest suit I'm looking for is gonna be probably pistol or rifle. Um, I don't know how much shotgun's gonna be going on here. I'm not too scared of a shotgun with three gun and all that, but I'm definitely looking forward to some pistol and getting fast on the front side post. And, and making some people scared. On the buzzer, right? On the buzzer. Okay. Shooter ready. Stand by. My name is Chris Valenzuela. I come from Southern California, a little place called Rancho Cucamonga, and I'm 31 years old. Um, I did five and a half years of active duty in the infantry, in the Army. Um, also, I've been in the security industry for the past um, four years. Uh, I've deployed to Iraq about four times already, and I'm currently a uh, PSD member uh, in Iraq. So, um, tactical-wise, I've done a lot of tactical um, training as well as firearms training and so I definitely have that in my favor. All right. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Third out. 4.62. So 
Great job, man. My name is Charles Tate Moots, but everybody calls me Tate. A uh, little bit about myself. I've been in law enforcement for around 20 years, and uh, I'm a family guy. Well, for a living, I work for an agency that moves nuclear weapons. Um, but my, my entire law enforcement background was I was a sheriff's deputy, and I was a border patrol agent, and then I worked for the Department of Energy. So with all that time, I've had lots of training with different types of firearms and things like that. And then I'd, I've been a firearms enthusiast my entire life. My dad took real good care of me, my granddad did, so firearms were part of my life. Cool. You good, brother? Shooter ready. Yeah. Stand by. The Right Stuff is brought to you by Wiley X, Tannerite, Frog Lube, and Hobie. The Right Stuff is brought to you by Icon Coolers, Under Armour, and Corral Boots. My name is Brian Hartman. I'm the uh, Chief Instructor for Progressive Force Concepts. We're a Las Vegas, Nevada-based use of force training provider. Our, uh, our specialty is uh, both firearms, defensive tactics, and, and tactical training provided to military, law enforcement, security contractors, and those responsible private citizens. Number one, we're, we're trying to bring a, a variety or a myriad of different stages that, uh, that train a multitude of different areas. Things up close, things far, uh, things that are, uh, are more marksmanship based, things that are a little bit more tactically based and whatnot. And then the, uh, the other thing we want to do is we don't want to throw the students in or the contestants in just cold and throw them right under the bus. We want to provide a little bit of training on the front end that shows that everything is winnable. It's very, very easy to take and design a stage or a scenario that is, uh, is simply designed to humiliate or, or defeat somebody. And we want to give them those tools ahead of time that if they actually take and they can under, or, uh, understand them and they can execute them under stress, they're, uh, they're set up to win. My name's Mark Anglin, and I'm from Marcin, Idaho, which is just outside of Boise, Idaho. Small town, very rural country. I'm lucky enough to live out in the country. I enjoy that very much. I've, um, when I was young, my dad was in law enforcement, and I started shooting when I was about six years old. It was the first time I ever shot a centerfire pistol. And I've been shooting ever since. I got pretty heavily in competition a while ago. And seeing how I'm older than the rest of them, I've got experience. <laughs> I'm very lighthearted. Um, I'm actually extremely competitive, but I don't come off that way. But I also know that if I don't do well, I'm not beating myself up either. And people can do that, and that makes, them, makes their next opportunity harder. Where I'm not, I just accept it and move on and bring on the next challenge. Shoot ready. Stand by. Uh, my name is Scott Brock and I'm from Kyle, Texas. Uh, my background is pretty diverse. Um, I've got uh, experience in nuclear. Uh, I have an extensive military background including special operations. Um, uh, most recently I've worked for the U.S. government direct for two different organizations within the U.S. government, the last being the State Department. Um, that's pretty much who I am. Right now I'm currently going to school. Uh, and being a dad. I haven't been a dad in a long time and I've been focused on being a good dad and a good husband here in the last seven, eight months. Shooter ready. Yes. Stand by. That's horrible. All right, go ahead and hop out. That's horrible. I hate when that happens. 
My name is Willis Tomlin from Norfolk, Virginia. I'm a former United States Marine infantryman uh, with 3rd Battalion, 6th Marines. Uh, I grew up in a small town in Ohio on a farm. Uh, I was always outdoors, hunting, fishing since I was little. You can never keep me indoors. I love to be outside. Uh, if I'm not shooting, I'm dry firing or anything, just quick draws, anything to just keep the skills from diminishing. Um, here to have a good time. Uh, well, I did two combat deployments to Iraq, um, Purple Heart recipient, so I've definitely been in some sticky situations and uh, stressful situations. So I can, I can definitely deal with the pressure. Um, so there's not really anything out here that I don't think that I won't be expecting or I can handle. Sure, ready? Stand by. Nice try, Willis. Nice try, baby. Yeah. Well, guys, that was uh, some impressive shooting from some and some surprises from some others. But uh, y'all do me a favor, thank Brian, and uh, then head back over to your camp, and uh, we'll reconvene here a little bit later and uh, do a little talking. All right. Cool. Sounds good. Thanks, Brian. Good Appreciate it. Thank you, Brian. Good job. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, sir. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. The Right Stuff is brought to you by Lacrosse Footwear, Pullman, and Chef 5 Minute Meals. The Right Stuff is brought to you by Jack Daniels and Burdett and Son. Firearms on the right stuff are kept in top shape using Frog Lube. Compliant with U.S. military and NRA guidelines for gun maintenance, Frog Lube prevents oxidation with a green bio-based formula. How we doing? Good, Mark. Everybody have a good afternoon. Good to see you, Mark. Everybody enjoy their first day out here? How you doing? Good to see you, good to see you, yeah. good to see you. Sure. Well, okay, so guys, y'all know how you did. And, and and I gotta be honest with you guys, you, you some of you impressed me and some of you kind of surprised me a little bit. Val, you did great, brother. Thank you. That was uh, that was some awesome shooting, and you were actually the fastest guy on time. So you get to choose which team you're on. You get to choose either Team Smith and Wesson, Team Stag, or Fiochi. I'll take uh, Smith and Wesson. All right. Now, because you were the fastest. Thank you, sir. You get to choose your teammate. However, it can't be the guy who was in second place. It can't be Chris. So you have to choose one of the other four gentlemen. All right. Uh, I choose Scott. All right. Here you go, sir. Thank you, sir. So you guys are now teamed up. Now the second guy, Chris, you were you did you shot very well as well. So, which team do you want to represent? Go with Stag. All right. And you get to choose your teammate. Go with Charles. Tate. Thank you. There you go. That leaves two guys. And since you four didn't even finish, <laughs> I get to give y'all <laughs> this team. So you guys are all a team. Tell you what you think about today, man. Well, that's fine. Anytime we get to burn gunpowder, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Seeing what the competition's like. Would you do anything different? No. No? No, my strategy's right in play. Okay, okay. How about you, Willis? Uh, I think everything went pretty well. Uh, I rushed a couple of shots, but no big deal. Well, it's kind of hard, man, when you're out there and you, you're sort of thrown into the middle of it right off the bat. Chris, how you feeling, brother? Good. Mohawk's looking good. Thank you. You know, still, I mean, I'm surprised at all the wind blowing, how you're keeping that thing up there. It looks aerodynamic, great. helps oh, out with speed. Very nice. That's right. How you feeling about your uh, your chances here? Uh, feel pretty solid. I mean, I'm not a revolver guy, so I just figured go slow and smooth and make your shots first time and just run right through it. All right, Scott, good day. A little bit of strategy, uh, tried to play and uh, 
it may or may not have backfired on me. Um, <laughs> oh, we've got audio on you. We know. So, you <laughs> the 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 group uh, decided to uh, play along, and I wasn't prepared for that. So it made for interesting television, and it made for an interesting shoot. It really did. It well, fun. here's the bottom line, fellas. I mean, we all know it's a competition, and we all know it's a game. So you're here to play the game, but you're also here to enjoy the beautiful scenery. That's right. You're also here to make new friends Correct. and have a great time. You know, we got some great camping gear for you. We got some great food. We got some great, just fun amongst ourselves. So uh, let's retire for the evening, and uh, we will start it back up tomorrow morning with a with a whole new day, a whole new list of challenges, and uh, it should be pretty fun. I, I think we're gonna. Since you guys are already playing games, I think we might have to throw a couple games your way. <laughs> I got a feel. I got a feeling we can do it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Shenanigans. Oh, yeah. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> well, let's just call it an evening, and we'll uh, we'll we'll start back up tomorrow. Sounds All right, good. I'll see you guys. Good. Thanks. <laughs> good night. Good night, brother. Have a good one, brother. Teammate, All right, teammate. Let's go. Game on. That's right. Game on, boys. Game on. On the next, The Right Stuff. Paired up, the guys will take on their first team challenge. Heading out to Bill Evans Lake, the guys will battle each other and the elements on their Hobie kayaks. It's a race against time and the wind, next time on The Right Stuff. Another fantastic Shipman Agency production.